Are you ready for a new video? Living abroad on a modest budget of $500 a month might seem impossible in many parts of the world. But guess what? There are still enchanting spots across the globe where this dream is not only achievable, but comes with an extra sprinkle of joy. In this episode, we're globetrotting to explore 10 stunning destinations where you can bask in the company of beautiful single women and enjoy a fulfilling retirement without the financial strain. Who do you think will be at the top of our affordability chart? Will it be the sunny shores of the Philippines, the vibrant markets of Bolivia, the serene landscapes of Nepal, or perhaps the cultural richness of Pakistan? Drop your guesses in the comments and let's kick off this adventure with our first exotic destination, Indonesia. Number 10, Indonesia. Nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, Indonesia captivates as the world's largest archipelago, covering an impressive 1.9 million square kilometers. With a population exceeding 270 million, Indonesia ranks as the fourth most populous nation globally rich with a mosaic of over 300 ethnic groups and 700 languages. Indonesians are renowned for their warm hospitality and friendly nature, which greatly enhances the experience for visitors and expatriates alike. For those dreaming of a serene retirement, Indonesia presents an idyllic setting. To qualify for a retirement visa, applicants need to be at least 55 years old and demonstrate financial stability with a recommended pension of approximately $1,500 per month. This retirement visa, known as the KITAS, is valid for one year and renewable annually for up to five years. After this period, retirees can apply for a permanent stay permit, further easing long-term settlement plans. The allure of Indonesia isn't just in its landscapes, but also in its affordability. Costs for a one-bedroom apartment range from $150 outside city centers to $500 within major cities. Monthly bills for utilities like electricity, water, and garbage disposal typically lie between $40 and $80. Monthly groceries could cost between $100 and $200, with dining options ranging from $2 at local eateries to $20 for a three-course meal at a nicer restaurant. Public transport is quite economical, with monthly passes costing between $15 and $30. The total average monthly living expenses for a single retiree in Indonesia can start from as low as $500, depending on lifestyle choices and location within the country. Indonesia not only offers scenic and financial benefits, but also a rich cultural tapestry. Indonesian women, known for their diligence, often engage in professions across all sectors, demonstrating the society's progressive nature. For instance, Indonesian designer Ni Lu Jelantik has made international waves with her shoe designs for supermodels. In terms of relationships, Indonesian dating culture emphasizes mental connection and mutual respect, with physical affection seen as a cherished bonus, not the sole foundation of a relationship. Curious about how the Philippines supports foreign retirees? We'll dive into the unique requirements and benefits of the SRRV program shortly. Number 9. Philippines. Spanning an impressive area of about 300,000 square kilometers, the Philippines comprises more than 7,600 islands, each offering unique vistas and experiences. From the awe-inspiring rice terraces of Banaue, often hailed as the eighth wonder of the world, to the otherworldly chocolate hills in Bohol, the Philippines serves as a showcase of some of the planet's most varied and spectacular landscapes. For those looking to retire here, the Philippines offers the Special Resident Retirees Visa, SRRV, a program specifically designed for foreign retirees. You need to deposit $10,000 if you receive a guaranteed monthly pension of at least $800 for a single applicant or $1,000 for married couples. If you don't have a pension, the deposit increases to $20,000. Younger retirees, from 35 to 49 years old, will need a deposit of $50,000. In the bustling city centers of the Philippines, a one-bedroom apartment typically rents for about $350, 
whereas you can find similar accommodations in quieter areas just outside the city center for around $200. Utility expenses are reasonably low, with an average monthly bill for a standard household coming to about $75. Dining out remains an affordable pleasure. A meal at a modest restaurant costs about $3, and a romantic three-course dinner for two at a mid-range venue is just $20. Public transportation is incredibly economical, with monthly passes available for around $20. Healthcare is also accessible, with routine doctor's visits costing between $10 and $20 per visit without insurance. Overall, a retiree can live comfortably in the Philippines on a budget of approximately $500 per month, depending on their lifestyle choices and the specific area they decide to call home. Filipino women are celebrated not only for their beauty, but also for their educational achievements and deep-rooted values in loyalty and love. The Philippines prides itself on its cultural richness and the high value placed on education, with many excelling in fields such as medicine, technology, and the arts. The proficiency in English among Filipinos, a legacy of the country's American influences, makes the Philippines a hub of communication and connection. This linguistic advantage also facilitates deeper connections and relationships, offering expatriates a chance to find not just a new home, but a partner to share it with. Number eight, Nepal. Spanning approximately 147,516 square kilometers, Nepal offers an expansive backdrop of diverse terrains and cultural depth, despite its relatively modest size on the map. From the towering majesty of Mount Everest, the highest peak on the globe, to the lush sweeping valleys of the Terai region, the country offers an astonishing variety of landscapes. The legendary warmth and hospitality of the Nepalese make every visitor feel instantly welcomed, creating a sense of extended family among those who tread its soil. For those considering retiring here, the practicalities are equally appealing. To qualify for a retirement visa in Nepal, Applicants must be over 50 years old and demonstrate financial stability, typically through proof of a stable pension or ample retirement savings. These visas are issued annually and can be renewed each year, provided that retirees continue to meet the financial requirements and comply with local laws. Living in Nepal is remarkably affordable, which is a huge draw for retirees. In the picturesque city of Pokhara, known for its stunning natural views and proximity to outdoor adventures. A one-bedroom apartment in the city center rents for about $150 to $250 per month. Opting for a location just outside the city center can reduce this cost to between $100 and $150 monthly. Utility costs, covering electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage services, are typically about $30 to $50 per month. Transportation costs are incredibly low, with local bus fares starting at just 20 to 30 cents. Dining out remains affordable as well. A meal at a modest restaurant costs between $2 and $4, while a more lavish three-course meal for two at a mid-range venue ranges from $15 to $25. Thus, a realistic monthly budget for living expenses in Nepal would hover around $500 making it an attractive option for those looking to retire comfortably on a budget. The cultural fabric of Nepal also offers deep engagement, particularly for women who express their emotions and values through vibrant avenues such as art, music, and dance. While the society values modesty, many Nepali women actively participate in both home and work life, adhering to and celebrating their rich cultural and religious traditions. All right, before we move on to position number seven, I have a question I'd like to ask you. Where are you from? How does the cost of living in your country compare to living abroad? Perhaps you have some stories you would like to share? Please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Number seven, North Cyprus. Officially known as the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, this idyllic destination spans about 3,355 square kilometers and is nestled on one-third of the island of Cyprus. Despite its compact size, North Cyprus boasts a dramatic landscape ranging from tranquil beaches to rugged mountains, 
offering picturesque views and a peaceful retreat for those looking to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. For those considering retirement here, North Cyprus provides an affordable lifestyle without sacrificing quality. To qualify for a retirement visa, you generally need to be of retirement age, which typically starts at 60 years. Applicants must demonstrate financial stability supported by a steady income from pensions or investments. Upon arrival, visitors receive an entry permit valid for 30 to 90 days depending on their nationality, and temporary residency requires annual renewal. Remarkably, the monthly living expenses for an individual are around $490. Housing costs in the city center for a one-bedroom apartment are about $300 per month. If you prefer living slightly outside the city center, the cost drops to about $250 per month. Utility expenses, which include electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage for an 85 square meter apartment are typically $70 to $100 monthly. Grocery shopping in North Cyprus is reasonably priced. A liter of milk costs about $1. A loaf of bread is roughly 75 cents and a dozen eggs will set you back about $2.50. Dining out remains an affordable pleasure, with a meal at an inexpensive restaurant costing between $6 and $10, and a three-course meal for two at a mid-range restaurant averaging $25 to $40. Transportation is also economical. A one-way ticket on local transport costs about $1 to $2, while a monthly pass is typically $40 to $60. In North Cyprus, you'll encounter not only stunning scenery, but also a community rich in diversity and intellect. Many local women, blessed with Mediterranean beauty, pursue advanced degrees and prominent careers in education, healthcare, business, and the arts, contributing to a socially vibrant and intellectually stimulating environment. How does Cambodia balance traditional values with modern influences in its social and dating scenes? Stay tuned. Number 6. Cambodia. Nestled between Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam, Cambodia spans about 181,035 square kilometers and is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes and cultural heritage. At the core of its tourist appeal is the Angkor Wat Temple Complex, the largest religious monument in the world, symbolizing the soul of the nation. Cambodians are celebrated for their resilience and warmth, the country's people are known for their welcoming nature, which resonates deeply with visitors and expatriates alike. For those considering retirement here, Cambodia offers a Retirement Visa, or ER Visa, tailored specifically for those who are 55 years of age or older, not employed in Cambodia, and can prove they have sufficient funds to support themselves. This visa is particularly accommodating as it is valid for either six months or 12 months and is renewable. Importantly, it is a multiple entry visa, allowing retirees the flexibility to travel in and out of Cambodia without the hassle of reapplying for a new visa. Monthly living expenses for a single person are about $490. Housing in Seam Reap, for example, is very affordable with one bedroom apartments priced around $200. Utility costs, including electricity, water, and garbage collection, typically range from $50 to $100 per month. The variance largely depends on air conditioning usage, which can drive up electricity costs. Grocery shopping will set you back about $150 per month, depending on your diet and cooking habits. Dining out remains a budget-friendly option with meals at inexpensive restaurants costing between $3 to $5. A monthly public transport pass is around $30, though many expatriates prefer the flexibility of renting a scooter, which costs between $50 to $100 per month. Cambodian culture is richly diverse and deeply traditional, offering a unique perspective on personal and social relationships. When it comes to social customs, the dating scene in Cambodia is generally more conservative, particularly in rural areas where traditional values are held in high regard. These values often emphasize the importance of maintaining chastity until marriage. In contrast, urban areas like Phnom Penh, 
exhibit a more relaxed approach to dating, influenced somewhat by Western culture. This blend of tradition and modernity provides a fascinating insight into the evolving social dynamics of Cambodia, reflecting a society that respects its heritage while gradually adapting to global ideas. Number 5. Bolivia In the picturesque nation of Bolivia, stretching over 1.1 million square kilometers, you'll find a vibrant tapestry of cultures and traditions among its roughly 11 million residents. With landscapes ranging from the endless Salar de Uyuni salt flats to the towering Andes Mountains, Bolivia's natural beauty is simply breathtaking. Bolivians are famously welcoming, celebrating their rich cultural heritage with vibrant festivals and music that invite you to dance along. For those considering retiring here, Bolivia offers the Specific Purpose Visa. You'll need to be at least 50 years old and show a stable pension income, generally between $200 to $250 monthly. Initially issued for up to one year, this visa can be converted into temporary, then permanent residency. Living in Bolivia is remarkably affordable, with a single person's monthly costs of around $480, about 60% less than in the U.S. Dining out won't break the bank either. A meal at a budget-friendly restaurant costs around $3. Grocery staples like milk, eggs, and bread are also economical, with a gallon of milk priced at about $2, a dozen eggs for $1, and bread for 50 cents per pound. In cities like La Paz, you can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $145 per month. Utilities are surprisingly affordable, typically not exceeding $50 monthly for basics, including internet. Transportation costs are low, with local bus fares only a few cents, and taxi rides within cities generally under $10, making it easy and economical to explore. Bolivia not only offers scenic and financial benefits, but also a rich cultural tapestry. Bolivian women are known for their radiant, golden-toned skin and lustrous hair, embodying a deep sense of self-confidence and a love for family, including their cherished pets. If you're considering a long-term relationship, women from Bolivia represent an ideal match. They view marriage as a sacred, lifelong commitment and are known for their resilience and ability to thrive despite challenges. Bolivian women are not just devoted partners, but also loyal companions, ready to support their significant others through both triumphs and trials. Number 4. Vietnam Covering an area of about 331,212 square kilometers, Vietnam is slightly larger than Italy. Its legendary beauty stretches from the cascading rice terraces of Sapa in the north to the intricate waterways of the Mekong Delta in the south. The coastline, over 3,000 kilometers long, is adorned with pristine beaches like those in Da Nang and Ha Trang, while the central highlands offer ethereal, misty landscapes. Vietnam's people are known for their hospitality, welcoming all who come to explore their country. Retiring in Vietnam offers an affordable lifestyle amidst a culturally rich setting. Although Vietnam does not have a specific retirement visa, retirees can reside legally by renewing a tourist visa or obtaining a business visa. Living costs in Vietnam are remarkably low. A comfortable lifestyle can be maintained on about $450 a month. In popular coastal cities like Da Nang and Ha Trang, a one-bedroom apartment in the city center costs around $350 and outside the city center about $250. Utility costs for a standard apartment, including electricity, water, heating, and garbage collection, range from $50 to $100 per month, depending on usage. Transportation is incredibly affordable, with monthly public transport passes costing between $7 and $15. Taxis start at $0.50, cents, with an additional $0.50 cents per kilometer. Dining out is also economical. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant costs between $1.50 and $3.50. High-quality healthcare services are available at a fraction of Western costs, with specialist consultations ranging from $20 to $50. Vietnamese women 
are often noted for their refined elegance and beauty standards that resonate well throughout Asia and globally. Common traits include high cheekbones, double eyelids, and straight black hair, aligning with regional and global beauty standards. The international success of Vietnamese women in beauty pageants highlights the global recognition of their distinct beauty, underscoring an aspect of Vietnamese culture that captivates and appeals to international visitors. Now the last three countries will make you think twice before moving on. Before we continue, just take 10 seconds to hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel grow and means a lot to us. In return, my team and I commit to continuously improving the show for you. So, do we have a deal? Number three, Bangladesh. Nestled between India and Myanmar and kissed by the Bay of Bengal, Bangladesh boasts an area of roughly 57,300 square miles. Despite its compact size, it's bustling with life and rich in natural beauty. From the lush green hills of Silhet, known as the tea capital, to the mighty rivers like the Padma, Meghna, and Jamuna that weave through fertile plains, Bangladesh offers diverse and awe-inspiring vistas. Now, while Bangladesh does not have a specific retirement visa, those looking to settle here can explore options like the private investor visa for long-term stays, particularly if planning to invest. For those not investing, a long-term tourist visa is an alternative that can be extended under certain conditions, providing flexibility for retirees. For a single person living in Bangladesh, the estimated monthly expenses are around $400. In bustling urban centers like Dhaka, the capital, you can find a one-bedroom apartment in the city center priced between $200 to $300 per month. If you're looking for a more serene setting, a comparable apartment just outside the city center typically ranges from $150 to $250. In rural and less developed areas, the cost of living drops significantly, with one-bedroom apartments available for as little as $75 to $125 per month. Utility costs for a standard apartment, covering electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage, generally range from $35 to $50 per month. Dining out remains affordable. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant costs about $2 to $3, while a three-course meal for two at a mid-range restaurant will set you back approximately $15 to $20. For transportation, a monthly pass for local buses and auto rickshaws typically costs between $10 to $15. Bangladesh is also known for its welcoming people. Bangladeshi women, in particular, are noted for their intelligence, charm, and beauty, characterized by expressive eyes and long, thick hair. In urban settings, women are increasingly active in the workforce, although traditional roles still persist in many areas. This evolving dynamic adds a rich layer to the cultural fabric of the country, making it an intriguing place for expatriates. Number two, India. Stretching across over three million square kilometers, India is the world's seventh largest country by area. It's a land of stark contrasts, where the breathtaking Himalayas in the north stand in stark contrast to the tropical sun-kissed beaches of the south. Now, if you're considering retiring in India, you'll be interested to know that while India does not have a specific retirement visa, they offer an entry visa. This visa is perfect for retirees who aren't of Indian origin, but wish to enjoy longer stays in the country, engaging in non-touristic activities like yoga or volunteering. It's crucial to remember that if you stay for more than 180 days, you must register with the nearest foreigner's regional registration office within 14 days of your arrival. In the bustling city centers of India, a one-bedroom apartment rents for about $150 to $300 per month, while locations outside the city centers offer even more affordability, with rents ranging from $100 to $200. When it comes to utilities, you typically pay between $20 to $40 monthly. Essential groceries like milk, bread, rice, and eggs will set you back about $15 to $25 each week. For transportation, a monthly pass for local buses and metro services costs merely $5 to 
and starting a taxi ride falls between $1 and $2. Taking all these expenses into account, a retiree can live comfortably in India on a monthly budget of approximately $400 to $500, depending on their lifestyle preferences and the specific location they choose for their retirement. The people of India add to the country's charm. Known for their warm hospitality, Indians come from a variety of ethnic backgrounds, contributing to the country's rich tapestry of communities. Indian women, often seen in traditional attire like saris, reflect the country's strong sense of cultural identity. Beauty in India goes beyond physical appearances, with a deep cultural appreciation for inner qualities like kindness and intelligence, which are celebrated in everyday life and the arts. Thinking of retiring in Pakistan on a budget? We'll break down the monthly living expenses and explore the rich cultural tapestry of this South Asian gem shortly. Number 1. Pakistan Nestled between the Arabian Sea coastlines and the majestic Himalayas, Pakistan spans over 881,913 square kilometers, ranking as the world's 33rd largest country. For those who love adventure and natural beauty, the northern regions of Pakistan, like Gilgit Baltistan, are nothing short of a paradise. These areas are not only stunning, but steeped in rich history and folklore, offering tranquil retreats for anyone looking to escape the hustle and bustle of modern life. However, it's important to note that Pakistan does not currently offer a specific retirement visa. Instead, potential retirees may need to consider other types of visas such as work, business, or family visas based on their personal circumstances. But let's talk numbers. Despite this visa situation, Pakistan remains a highly affordable retirement destination. An individual can live comfortably in Pakistan on a monthly budget that spans from $175 to $275. In bustling cities like Islamabad or Lahore, the cost of renting a cozy one-bedroom apartment typically falls between $75 and $125 per month, varying by location and the amenities offered. When it comes to utilities including electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage collection, monthly expenses are quite reasonable, ranging from $15 to $25. For groceries, budgeting around $50 to $75 monthly should suffice. This estimate covers a range of local produce, meats, and staple food items which are generally less expensive than those found in many Western countries. Additionally, getting around the city is incredibly budget-friendly. Using local buses or rickshaws will only set you back about $10 to $15 each month, offering an economical and efficient way to navigate urban areas. Additionally, Pakistan's cultural tapestry is rich and vibrant, particularly highlighted by the traditional attire of Pakistani women the colorful and intricately embroidered shalwar kameez. These garments are not just a fashion statement, but a proud expression of cultural identity. Moreover, the resilience of Pakistani women, who are often at the forefront of societal change despite challenges like gender inequality and limited educational opportunities, adds a layer of profound beauty and strength to the nation's character. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to the Discover Globe channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.